Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wen. Here is the question. We have four semicircles. The big one, center is here. The radius is two. We have three little semicircles with radius one. One center is here. This side is one, this side is one. And the one center is here. This side is one, this side is one. The third center is here. This side is one, this side is one. The question is to find this shaded area. This is the original question. How to find this shaded area? We draw a few lines to cut the white part into five areas. Area two, three, four, five, six. We use S for the areas. S1 is the one we need to find. The basic logic is to find the area of this bigger semicircle first, then find the area of each these five pieces, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. Then from the area of this bigger semicircle minus the sum of these five pieces. The two triangles are equilateral. Why? If we consider this is a center for the middle semicircle. This side is the radius one. This side is also the radius one. If we consider this is center for the third semicircle, this is one. This side is also one. This means all three sides are the same, which is one. Therefore, this triangle, this triangle or equilateral triangles. All angles are six degrees. Sect angle of S2 equals sect angle of S4. This angle and this angle by symmetry. They are equal. This angle equals 180 minus 60. This angle equals 60. This angle is from this equilateral triangle. The sector angle of S3 equals 180 minus 60 minus 60 equals 60. Now we are ready to calculate the area of S2, S3, S4. Let's calculate the area of this big semicircle first, which is the sum of 
six pieces equals one half times pi times r, r is two, two square. Simplify, now we have two pi. Two pi is the area for this bigger semicircle. The area of S2 and S4 are the same by symmetry. This set the angle equals 120. The whole angle for a circle is 360 times the, its area, pi times radius r, then squared. Now we have pi over 3. It's the answer for the areas of 2 and 4. S3 equals this sectangle 60 divided by 360 times the area of a little circle pi r squared, which is pi over 6. S3 equals pi over 6. Let's calculate the area of this triangle. The height of the triangle S5 and S6 equals 1 square minus 1 half square equals square root of 3 over 2. The high is here. This side equals what? This side is one half. Therefore, the height equals square root of one square minus one half square, which is square root of three over two. Now we have the base one high as square root of three over two. The area S5 equals S6 equals one half times base times height, which is square root of three over four. We have all areas for the white area. We are ready to calculate the S1. What is S1? S1 equals the semicircle area, the big one, minus the white area, the sum of five areas. In mathematics, it's easy to check. This equals S1. What is this part? This part we have as two pi. 2 pi, what is S2, S3, S4, S5, S6? We have all here. Pi over 3 plus pi over 6 plus pi over 3 plus square root of 3 over 4 plus square root of 3 over 4. Simplify this. Then we have 7 pi over 6 minus square root of 3 over 2. This is the final answer. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.